I don't know if if Small Barn had have opened, I definitely would have called. Um, even if you like 3x or 4x, I think it's still a call in position with 8.9 off versus most people's small barn opening ranges with position and the odds that you get. So pocket kings on table 3. And 7 jack suited table 1 on the button. So we threw about the um, cutoff. So something that I think is is a decent play. I mean, versus the guy that's loose, I definitely think you should have a three-bet bluffing range and a wide range. But versus like tighter regulars, I think versus some regulars, you shouldn't even have like really a, a three-betting range, um, just because it's it's pretty hard to balance from the button and instead just have a wider flatting range. And I think in in games like that, that can be a decent style to experiment with. Um, it's something I've been playing around with a lot. But versus a guy playing thirty twenty-five, I think you definitely have to three-bet this on the button. Um, We just get a fold. King Queen off table three. We're obviously going to be opening. I think if I think if Potcher or, or even if um yeah I think I was going to oh was that a I don't know sorry got confused with the blinds. Um, if Aquas had have opened, I would have three read him with King Queen off there. I think it's a good spot to do it. Um, just how wide he's opening, I think it's going to play better than flatting in position and with the potential of getting squeezed, because generally um, this is another thing that you can kind of keep in mind um, versus squeezes. Um, and we'll come back to ta table three, table four in a second, but I think the flop just went check, check. Um, let's see. Yeah, probably check, check. Um, and now it's the turn, check, check again. Um, seems pretty standard, but... Uh, yeah, like I was saying, if if a laggier player opens and uh, someone flats him in position, especially if there's a fish in the blinds, the person flatting him uh, is going to have a really, really wide range, like all their suited connectors and very few strong hands. Because the player is playing loose arm, um, generally people are going to three bet them with all their good hands, all their premium hands. So when someone does flat um, uh, an open like that, it's very often um, a, a, it, it can be a really good spot to squeeze just because the second player um, never has anything and he can't have slow played hands um, as opposed to if like pot Potcher had have opened or something under the gun or just like a tighter regular. That guy's not even a regular fish, but yeah, like a uh, you know this, this this guy here, this Haney guy, if he had have opened, um, you know, and we flat, we can still have all the premiums in our range when we flatten the button. Um, but if um, if you flat versus a laggier player, for so someone like Schmeff on PokerStars, um, you can generally assume that uh, it's a good spot to squeeze because the laggier player can't really rep much by 4-betting, um, given how wide he's opening, and um, uh, the, the, the second player flatting just pretty much never has a hand, so it's just dead money in the pot there. Uh, and you should consider 4-bet bluffing, or you should, you should consider if there's someone in the blinds doing that to you. Um, Okay, so on the turn, you just went check fold. I think once the flop went check check on table four, you should you could have led the turn because um, he's going to fold all his pocket pairs and stuff, which he's just going to check down. I don't think you ever really have showdown value, and I think you do have enough fold equity on the turn there by leading um, if the hand did play it how I think I did, how I think it did. Um, table two, hmm, don't like three, but oh, I mean, the guy's a fish. Yeah, I think it's okay. Um, I think you can three bet bigger, though, like 36, if you are going to three bet this guy. Um... Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's good. I mean, you're just isolating the fish. I think it's fine. Uh, on this flop, I would um, bet. Depends on his, uh, I guess. I mean, he's a fish. He's playing really loose. 43, 24. I'd just bet for value. Because we get called by 87. Um, don't, I mean, the check is okay, but I think it's better to bet. Um, if you check, you're going to have a bit of a tough time on turns and rivers. Whereas if you bet like half pot here, I expect to get floated out of position with like ace queen, ace ten, um, ace nine, uh, you know, like random king queen, king ten, um, hands like that sometimes. But most of the time, I expect them to check call you with some ace eyes. And then, like for example, on this turn, if you had a see but the flop, you can check this back and then call most rivers. I'd say. Um, and if he if the t if if he uh, if you know the river goes check check maybe even put a tiny value out or something just like uh, one sixth pot or something but yeah I mean I can see reasons for checking because uh, you expect him to fold a lot and generally fish will fold this board because it's pretty dry um, and I expect you're just going to go call here on the turn.